We'll dive into the whole report and more after this short commercial break. <laughs> okay, come on. All right, we're back. Hi, I'm Morgan. And I'm Jake, and we're Neverland, Neverland Navigation, Navigation Co. Co. Your personal guides to everything Walt Disney World and beyond. And Morgan, where are we today? We are at the Rose and Crown, which is in the UK pavilion Maybe of on the streets of London. Yes, no, we're not. in Epcot. Classic English pub style food going on here. Yeah. Very excited for this one. Another entry into taste the magic yes. our culinary endeavor to try every sit down table service in park walt disney world restaurant by the end of 2023 morgan do you think we can do it i think we can do it i'm well, excited let's do it be ready to eat i'm so ready come on love you think walking into this restaurant it's partial outdoor seating and partial indoor seating and the inside has such like a cozy feel to it and that's where we wound up sitting they've got um all of these china dishes on a shelf that yeah. kind of wraps around the ceiling a dartboard Lots of framed like newspaper articles and old photos and things. Yeah. But I bet if you came here a long time ago, it looks the same. The Rose and Crown is frozen in time in a delightful way. In a delightful way. But now we've got to get to the most important part, which is of course the food. Now, what did we order? We started off with a scotch egg. I'd never had this before. It's a hard boiled egg. Wrapped in sausage yeah. and then fried. And then served with a delicious sauce. A delicious mustard sauce. I think the sauce might've been the best part. It was tangy, it was creamy. It um, really added to the flavors. Egg. Yeah, that was our appetizer. The menu here is very small. Yes. There are only four entrees on this entire, there are two appetizers and then there were four entrees and we got one of each. Right, had to have the bangers and mash. Sausage and mashed potatoes yes. and a, like a red wine demi. The through theme here is mashed potatoes. Yeah, there's because, mashed potatoes on almost everything. Yes, and then the shepherd's pie. That's ground beef, vegetables, gravy, and potatoes. Uh -huh. And then we also had a hot pot. Which was a vegetarian item, faux meat of some sort, and then like carrots and peas, and you guessed a it. gravy and mashed potatoes, mashed potatoes on top. baby. And then, of course, the fish and chips have to have fish and chips, yes. And that didn't have mashed potatoes, but they had these really, really thick cut fries that I would say. I never like mashed potatoes yeah. in a french fry form. And a healthy um, serving of malt vinegar with the, with the fish and chips. And I had never really had um, a traditional fish and chips before, so I wasn't sure that I was going to love it, but I really did. The fish and chips also had tartar sauce and ketchup served on the side. Yeah, so and, lots of dipping options. But I think the tartar sauce was better than normal. 
tartar sauce. Oh yeah, maybe a little elevated, a little enhanced. What was your favorite of the bunch? Probably the fish and chips. They do it right. What was your favorite? I really love the shepherd's pie. Yeah. I mean, it, it is very filling. It's very hearty. So I couldn't, I could barely get through all of it. I had to share some. It all came together in a really comfort food kind of way. Yeah. I, and you know what's funny? The hot pot, which was vegetarian, I was really impressed with how comfort food ish it was and that it didn't taste like fake meat right everything was so good the, the bangers and mash was also really good then so of course good. we had to get dessert because we always have to try a little something mm -hmm. what do we get we got sticky toffee pudding they actually have two desserts on the menu but the other one is vanilla gelato Yes. So we got sticky toffee pudding and some coffees. Yeah. Delicious. The sticky toffee pudding, really good. It comes with this really creamy, really creamy, bright, sweet sauce. Yeah. Um, and it was absolutely delicious. It yeah. made me feel like I was, you know, being warmed from the inside out. Oh, Very yeah. Nice. It came out so warm. It's, like, yes. you're right. It like warms your stomach. Yeah. You for mentioned sure. all the temperatures were so perfect. Yeah. Everything came out to us. Piping high. I would say in terms of preparation, Rose and Crown takes the crown. They've done a, <laughs> they've done a really good job of making sure the yeah. food is coming to you fresh, well prepared, and ready to be enjoyed. Yeah. Not to mention our um, our service was also incredible. So good. Our server Tony was the best. I really liked her. Tony. You're wonderful. <laughs> we, we we had a great time, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Should we get down to the brass tacks and start rating yes. some things? Oh my gosh. All right, let's get down to it. We're rating the Rose and Crown, of course, because we're talking about the UK. The Rose and Crown is going to be rated out of five Union Jacks. <laughs> That's right, five <laughs> okay. Union Jacks. Let's talk about the convenience. Yeah, the let's talk about convenience. The transportation. We're in Epcot. I, I, Bang on, we are. Five. Yes, five. <laughs> five Union Jacks. You've Epcot, got... not only is you're in Epcot, second, you've got the monorail and the Skyliner and, and a boat. And so if you're in Hollywood Studios or Magic Kingdom, easy peasy. You're in kind of an ideal World Showcase location as yeah. well. So this is five out of five, no question. No question. So we have to talk about the ambiance, this classic pub kind of yeah. thing. It's not all the bells and whistles of a Space 220. No, it's not that immersive. But for a um, traditionally themed um, place, I would give this four out of five. I would too, I would give it four out of five. For what it is, it, it's exactly what it's supposed to be. You know what I mean? Rule Britannia. Wonderful. <laughs> Let's talk about the quality of the food. This is where most of the restaurants that we've tried so far At have not Disney done World. so well. Yes, uh, Disney has this habit of sometimes having these really awesome immersive environments but then sometimes the food isn't all there or yeah. sometimes the food is great and something's slipping somewhere else this one i don't know the food quality really impressed me so like across the board i loved every dish and that never happens ingredients felt fresh the, yeah. the food was served at the perfect temperature and I would, before tonight i wouldn't have said oh i like british food so out of five union jacks what are we thinking for quality five Five Union Jacks for quality. That might be a first. Yeah. Right, and that takes us to, of course, the value. What are we talking about for price range at this restaurant? We're talking about uh, $25 per entree for a sit down. We spend like so, 60 something sometimes. We, we were delighted at the cost for the food. What do you think in terms Five? of value? Five it is. <laughs> All right, Morgan, we're wrapping up our night. We're walking out of Epcot. So now that you've had some time to digest and think about it, what do you think is the overall rating that we're going to be giving to the Rose Out Crown? of 10, right? <gasps> yeah. It's a 9.5. Nine and a half yeah. Union Jacks out of 10. Can this, you believe that? That is the highest score we've ever given. This is our highest rated Disney sit down that we've done. Yeah, I, I'm shocked. Yeah, but I am absolutely delighted. I, I will 100% be back back for another rose and another crown. It's so funny because we hadn't come before because we didn't we didn't we know. We didn't expect, you know, we didn't expect it That's to be so mind blowing. Yeah, yeah. So definitely recommended for us if you're taking a trip around the old world showcase, make sure to take a stop into the rose and crown with some delightfully authentic and really well themed yeah. English dining. Yes, and check us out at neverlandnavigation.co. Yes, that's where Morgan writes an awesome Walt Disney World blog where you can get up to date on all of the latest. And you can also follow us on social media. That's at Neverland Navco on TikTok and on Instagram. Mm -hmm. We post a lot of Disney history there, but we also do some dining stuff. So there's something for everyone on those socials. Yep, and we do a podcast, which is like my favorite thing we do. Search Neverland Navigation Radio on any of the places that podcasts can be found. Yes, we would love for you to join the conversation. And of course, subscribe to us here on YouTube yes. and like this video if you've gotten something out of hearing us talk about the Rose and Crown. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, 
We'll see you on our next adventure. Goodbye. You said it gives puts too much pressure on you. you know, I get it. There are pressure, some crumble under pressure, but sometimes pressure creates a diamond. It's true. I've heard. <laughs> All um, right. Anyway. And